All right, we are doing 2.3 part two. We're still talking about standard form. That's remember AX plus BY equals C. And A and B can be zero, but they cannot be zero at the same time. So today in part two, we are gonna convert our standard form to slope intercept form because it's actually very easy by just solving for Y. Okay, so we're just gonna practice going from standard form to slope intercept form, and we're also gonna practice going from slope intercept form to standard form, just to show that you can uh, transfer. So we have this one in standard form, this first one, and we're gonna change it to slope intercept form. So remember, slope intercept form is where it's y equals mx plus b. And so what we're gonna do is solve for y. And so this is similar to literal equations where we move variables around when we have multiple variables. And so it's very similar. So that's why we did that first. So I'm gonna first get my x away from here. So I'm going to subtract 6x because that's the inverse of adding it. And then we will be left with our 2y equals, and then these cannot be put together, no x, x can't be put together, so negative 6x plus 24. And I just did that so that it looks similar to my y-intercept original form. And then to solve for my y, got to get this by itself, we are going to then divide this side by 2, and we're going to divide this entire side by 2. So that means I need to take this and divide it by 2, and take this one and divide it by 2. Both of them need to be divided by 2, not just 1. So we are left with y equals, well, negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3, and then I just put the x back. And 24 positive divided by 2 is positive 12, and we're done. All right, it'd be a good idea to maybe pause and try the next one just to see if you can do it. All right, so pause and then see how it goes. All right, so you, we should have first subtracted 3x. Get 7y equals negative 3x plus 42. We're going to then divide by 7. And what we're going to get is y equals, I'm going to go negative 3 over 7, let me fix my negative, and then just stick the x next to it, so there's my fraction, because I can't reduce, can't divide, and then we're going to go plus, well 42 divided by 7 is 6, and we're done. So we can then also convert slope-intercept form, right, that's what this is, to standard form. So remember, standard form is AX plus BY equals C. So if you see, in standard form, we want our X and our Y to be on the same side. So all we need to do, sorry, my pen got stuck, is move our X so that it's with our Y, and then we need to make sure nothing else is with them after the fact. So this time, I'm going to go minus 4x here so that it's over here with my y, because that's what the form is, that they're together. And so we get negative 4x plus y equals, now don't forget that's negative 8, and if you're not, if you can't see it, remember add the opposite, and there it is. And we're actually done, because now I have my ax plus my by equals my c, and we're done. All right, so maybe pause, try the next one, and we'll see how it goes. So all we needed to do was subtract a half x here, and subtract a half x here, and we would get negative half x plus y equals negative 3. Again, this is a negative 3. And we're done. Okay, so I'm gonna start this one and then I'm gonna have you guys finish it. So this one, we just have an extra step before we can um, 
completely solve this. We're again solving these for slope intercept form. So y equals mx plus b. So we're going to distribute here. And we're going to get y equals 2x minus 6 plus 9. And then we are going to combine like terms. I'm just going to actually finish it. Combine like terms. Whoops. It's not what I wanted. There we go. This one has no x. This one has no x. So they're going to get put together. And we're going to get y equals 2x and then plus 3. And we're good because there's y equals mx plus b. All right. I do want you to pause, though, and try um, the second one and see if you can solve for, for, for y. Remember, we always want to solve for y. This is what we're trying to get by itself. So let's see if you can do it. So for this one, we should have added 7x first to both sides, inverse of it. We get 8y equals, I always like to put my x first. That way it's in the more common form. And then we should have divided all of it by 8. And slope intercept form becomes y equals 7 over 8. There is my slope, rise and run, x plus, and then 48 divided by 8 is 6. All right, so now we are actually going to identify the x-intercept, the y-intercept, and the slope. So x-intercept and y-intercept we can find right now, right, because it's in standard form. So pause and find your x and y-intercepts, and then we'll go over how do you find then your slope. So to find the x-intercept, remember we make y zero. So we get negative 4x equals 72, and then we should divide it by negative 4. We get x equals negative, well, 4 goes into 7 one time, um, 3 left over, and then 32, so 8. So our x-intercept is then negative 18, comma 0. So y-intercept, we can actually just make x0, right, make this go away. We get negative 12y equals 72. We divide by negative 12, and we get y equals negative 6. And so our y-intercept is, is not negative 6. It's 0, negative 6. 0, negative 6. Now, to find our slope, we need to put this into slope-intercept form. So I'm going to take my original equation. And then I'm going to solve it for y and put it into slope-intercept form. So I would add 4x first. And I would get negative 12y equals 4x plus 72. We would then divide by negative 12 and get y equals. Now, this is 4 over negative 12, but we can reduce this. Negative 4, or 4 and 12, both can be reduced by 4. So this becomes, I'm going to put the negative on top, 1 over 3, right? 4 divided by 4 is 1, 12 divided by 4 is 3, and then I always like to put my negative on the numerator, x. And then we technically already did this. 72 divided by negative 12 is, in fact, then negative Six, so that's a good check. Do we get the same thing? And then there's my slope. M equals negative one third. So we've got everything. X-intercept, y-intercept, slope. So the only way to find a slope is to by putting in slope-intercept form. Okay, so the main thing to remember is that if you do not want to use standard form, you can always solve for y and convert it to slope-intercept form. And honestly, that could be vice versa. You can change slope intercept form to become standard form. So your independent practice is just to convert this standard form equation into slope intercept form. So just convert that to slope intercept form. Remember slope intercept form, y equals 
mx plus b. All right, until next time.